Hello everyone and welcome back to uh, the Eternal Darkness. When we last left off we've just um, have got to this area and we were losing our marbles and uh, we just healed ourselves. Oh and we also found the green effigy. Ooh, hello. A strange obelisk made from dark granite like material appears to be blocking the way forwards but the obelisk appears to be impervious to all damage. Okay, well, we're not going to worry about that just yet. Let's uh, reload. <sighs> right, mix. Let's put a fresh magazine in that thing. There we go. Onwards and upwards. Ooh, ooh, hello. You're headless, sir. Let's go for a torso shot. Ooh, nice. And for you. And then switch up to the axe to finish these guys off. Damn. Okay. Let's just go nuts. Cut everything off. Who needs a torso anyway? Right, let's murder these guys and laugh evilly whilst we're doing it. Ooh, look at this. What's this? This looks like something important. You, sir. Die, please. What the hell is that? The base relief depicts a proud warrior. The image is very strong, dominating this part of the room. Uh, below the design, a small ledge protruding from the wall as if awaiting something. Ah, uh, hang on. Uh, the bas relief depicts a sorcerer casting a spell. There is an air of authority about him, conveyed by his dominating visage. Below the design, a small ledge protrudes from the wall, awaiting for something. And the bar, yeah, depicts a female scholar. Her authoritative glare dominates this part of the room below the design is a small ledge that protrudes right okay so we have green red and blue now so this is obviously what the effigies are for uh, now do we put the opposites in or do we put the right let's try putting um... We do this. Ah, okay. Maybe that's not what we want to do. Maybe that's not what we want to do at all. Can you aim at the thing, please? Ooh. Oh dear. What the feck is that thing? Um. Shit. Probably gonna get horribly killed now. Okay, it's dying. Now, did we actually put the effigy in? No. Okay, so it's gotta be opposites then, I'm guessing. <sighs> that thing wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Haven't seen one of those before, though, have we? Something like that menacing? Uh, mix. And that, that ate a magazine to itself. Greedy fuck. So, what beats strength? Let me think. Uh, oh, let me get my phone out. I keep forgetting I've actually written all this stuff down. Uh, gallery will do right. So, strength is beaten by magic. Strength is beaten by magic, but that still gives us a horror. So, what are we doing wrong? Huh. Well, I'll tell you what, the assault rifle made bloody short work of him. Unless we have to put these in a certain order. But I can't see that being the case. Right. 
So in theory, he should go in that. Or not. So it takes six rams to take their head off. Or three uh, nine millies. Let's put one in the back of his head, sir. There we go. Okay, let's try putting blue in blue, maybe? Okay. Okay. Not red. Red goes on the blue one. Right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to reload it because we've wasted a lot of bullets and stuff there. I'm not quite sure why red um, went there. Let's get out here where we can see what we're doing. There we go. Off with your heads, sir. And your one. Alright, buddy. Calm down. I haven't forgotten you. No need to get like that. And we probably shouldn't have started murderizing these guys before taking this guy out. <laughs> I love the way they fly back. Come on. Off with your torso as well, if you insist. Let's stab him whilst we've got the time. You getting up again, sir? Of course you are. There we go. No torso for you. Kill the legs. I find these zombies kind of strange that it's the um, the bottom half. Uh, basically, the legs that are still alive. I would have thought it would have been the torso. So let's try putting red in here. Right, and that doesn't actually spawn a um, an enemy, so that's got to be right. So red in blue. So by that theory, blue in green. It must be opposite day. Yeah, okay. That's bloody counterproductive. Alright, so what's this going to give me then? <laughs> so that does open a door. Ooh. Opens a way down. Hmm, not sure I want to go there yet. See, surely that was supposed to be a door. Examine. Uh, an ocuous panelled wall caps this end of the room. Uh, conspicuously empty by... Com yeah. I wonder if we have to use reveal magic. Actually, curiosity's getting me. I wonder what's down there. So it's down there. And was it down this one? No. Can't remember where that was. Oh, it's here. Okay. What you got for me, game? Ooh. Uh, cradled on a stone display. The plinth is an enchanted gladius. Energy rises across its surface, pulsating through the surrounding air. Enchanted gladius. Is that... Oh, that's a weapon. <gasps> Ooh. So... Oh, we can't use it, so it's got to be a key. Hmm. This gladius carries a powerful enchantment. This unique weapon can only be wielded by its destined owner, the Guardian of Night. Ah, so it must be for Alex then. Ah oh, well, fine. We'll use our axe. Like the axe better anyway. Right. Now, I have a feeling, if we go back to where we were, let's try using some reveal magic. Hmm, interesting. Um, so, spell, enchant item, we want to go to reveal invisible, let's try max level, let's go for red. Ah, 
Ah, you can't fool me. So what's in here then? Ah, oh, this leads to that. Okay. Oh, what you got for me, sir? Detonator caps for C4 plastic explosives. Handle with care. Ah. Well, okay. So we've got to blow that bridge. Now, unfortunately, detonator caps are all well and good, but surely we need something with a bit of pop to it. Um, let's use our uh, summon trapper. Where are you? Summon horror. Shield. That's what we want. Uh, any shield will do. Red will do. So we've got to blow the bridge. Oh, so we actually got to take this tower out with this guy. I guess that makes sense. This does appear to be where a lot of the evil is coming from. That guy must be quite fast as well because we got through that with most of our uh, shield intact. Okay. So have we got anything in here? That I can see. No lever. Alright, okay, so do we have to maybe find the explosive? Oh, crap! Uh, oh, hello. Okay, maybe these things aren't as tough as I thought. That was fairly easy, actually. For century, evil has been channeled through this pit. Countless souls sacrificed to the darkness. Someone must end this madness. A bomb place here would be enough to pull the already collapsing city down into oblivion, destroying everything inside. Okay, right, well, we have a clear objective now. We just need a means to do this. So we have the detonator caps. I'm assuming that we need, like, TNT or some kind of bomb or something now. So we've been in there, we don't know how to get around that. Strange obelisk made from dark granite like material appears to be blocking the way forward. But the obelisk appears to be impervious to all damage. Right. Impervious to damage but not from spells. Now we used reveal um, invisible here and that didn't do anything. Well it did, it got, showed us the door. Magic portal. Okay, okay. Well, we'll come back to that. I'm guessing. Now, which of these rooms have we been... Is that all that's down there, the sword? Well, it's pretty sucky if that's all that's down there. There's no, like, door or anything. No. Okay. So I'm guessing that that is just, like, the gladius. That's not a door that we can use. That's just the Gladius that has a permanent enchantment on it. Which, I guess, actually, when you think about it, it's pretty damn good, I guess, for, like, the best end-level weapon. I was curious to see if we got, like, a super weapon or that kind of thing. Right, let's just take his head off. There's one head down. Another head down. Might as well kill these guys. I mean, why not? Come on, zombie. You fought well today. Your victory is your eternal slumber. Now, considering how likely that this game has of getting a sequel, uh, spoiler, not very likely, I'm hoping that it has a satisfying ending. I do get the feeling that it might be one of those games that leaves you on a cliffhanger. Hopefully it doesn't have Half-Life 2 or Shemu Syndrome. But I guess we'll find out. What's that? Oh yeah, that's where we got attacked by the monsters. You might be able to hear kids outside. They're getting fucking nuts. Kids. Kids. Bah. Right, let's go up. I suppose that's the unfortunate downside to living literally right by a school. And it is annoying as hell. 
Yeah, like tiny little brats. I'm not a... Oh, God. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Abandon. Abort. Abort. Get out of here. We're losing our health. Too busy moaning about kids walking outside. <laughs> there are kids on my garden again. Right, let's reload. Shake your stick. <laughs> yeah, shake my stick. Wait a minute. <laughs> right, let's um, equip. Mix. Reload. Now, let's... Hmm... Alright, let's just power us up. That's kind of annoying that we can't use that. Um, let's... Equip that. Ah, uh, we're gonna need some sanity back. We're losing our marbles slightly. Recover. Uh, that should do. I guess, actually, we could enchant our rifle. I uh, forget that's not actually that good. Hopefully we can enchant our rifle as well. That'll do, that'll do. Now, let's spell list. Uh, enchant item. Do we have enough? Just. Oh, no. Yeah, that's one of the spells that really doesn't take too much. Alright, there we go. Let's go Rambo on these guys. Haven't actually played with the grenade launcher yet, have we? Let's save it. Since I've been playing for almost 16 hours, I haven't actually been playing for almost 16 hours, I don't think. A lot of that time the game's just been paused between videos whilst I've gone and done stuff. Oh god, oh shit! Do they always um, reverse your controls? Oh wow, actually, you know what? That doesn't take too much to kill these guys. Sit down. That's quite interesting. Um, actually, that is very interesting. That gun seems to be a lot more powerful now. Maybe uh, in the beginning when we were fighting those things, they were the wrong alignment, perhaps? Uh, I mean, it's certainly possible. This guy looks like such a badass. Okay. Doesn't appear to be anything in this room. Apart from another way down. No juicy weapons to pick up or anything like that. This guy's got a lot of stamina as well. He can run quite far. Oh god, trappers. You know what that means. Time for the Glock to come out. Where are they? I cannot see them. Oh, there's one. One for you. It's a shame we don't have the 45 version of this gun, but uh, never mind. Can't be choosers and all that. Is that all of them? No, it sounds like there's one back here, but ah, sod him. Ah, so we've gone backwards. Um. Hmm. Oh, that's that little bit there. Ah. Little bonus area. Okay, so let's go back down here. Um. Trying to think uh, where we haven't been. I'm pretty sure we've been through all the doors. The only thing we haven't done is go through that um, weird door. That stone thing. It says it's like impervious against all damage. I wonder if we can use magic attack on it. I guess that's one thing we could try. But I get the feeling it's more likely um, something to do with a button somewhere or a switch that we've got to push. Uh, mix. Hmm. Uh, keep my eye out for like ladders and things. I know there's a. Right, what was up here? I think that was just. No, this is the way we have to go, I think. Right. 
Nothing down there. Yeah, this is the long way back. Nothing here. And we can't go... Ah, I wonder if we can use reveal hidden door. Uh, enchant, reveal invisible, max level that. I wonder. Because that is a door. That didn't work. Let's try another flavor. Nope. What about that? Actually, I've just had a thought. I know what we might be able to do with that. Um, that sounds stupid. But can we summon a trapper and beam it away? Just thinking about that body in the weird trapper dimension. Uh, spell list. Summon trapper. I've got a feeling that this probably won't work. It'd probably involve... Um, hitting a switch somewhere or something. But, I can't really think of anywhere that we haven't been, unless there's a passage somewhere that we haven't um, uncovered. Summon Trapper. Anyone will do. Oh, come on. Why does it take so much power to summon a Trapper? Summon Trappers are useless. Better get used to running, boy. Cause you're gonna be doing a lot of it if you're gonna have to like use a lot of spells right let's try to be fair this guy doesn't really need to use magic that much because um, the amount of weapons he has there we go yeah that uses loads right you little bugger come on can you eh? ah no way okay that was like a complete hunch that I just thought about. It seemed to have worked. Let's go. Zombie. Nope. Not zombies. Any more, you bastards, down here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Ah. Ah, what's this? A shrine fashioned from uh, disreared human remains stands at the far end of the room, resulting in the arms of the bone trestle. Oh, res uh, resting in the arms of the bone trestle is a scroll of paper covered with arcane scribblings. Bind. Bind spell. Hmm, so I wonder what that does. Oh, we have all the spells in the game now. Right, let's check. A note is scribbled on the scroll. It reads, This magic enables the caster to bind a creature with the magic forcing it to... Ah, that's... Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if that sounds that good. Bantrock and R. Let's see if we can actually create a new, a powerful version of this spell. I'm going to say probably not. Bantarok and who's it R? Otherwise, it would have made the more powerful version. Was that what it was? Yeah. So okay, we can't. Hang on. We did though, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do have a more powerful version of that. Interesting. Oh, some horrors, I believe they're called. Ah, bugger. Right, let's cast Dispel. Uh, da -da -da. Actually, let's try Bind. Let's see what that does. Cast, max level. Ah, that's the point. This guy might not have enough power to uh, cast it. Let's 
see actually on my side now? Not a hundred percent sure. Right, okay, let's dispel magic. There it is. Nope. Cast. We're gonna go for a max power. Red. Here we go. Raise the roof. Boom. Ha. Nothing. Uh. Ha. Huh. Okay. Not sure why that didn't work. Let's get some power back. Saying that, mate, this place is a bit tipsy turvy, isn't it? We've had to use um, some strange methods so far. Let's try. What do we have? We don't really have any, like, uh, equipment or anything, do we? Not sure what to do to get through this barrier. Unless we can come from a different angle, maybe? Anyway, let's try that again. Spell list, dispel magic, max level. By my logic, that should work. But it doesn't. Let's try bind creature again. See if we can aim it. it. Might be one of those barriers where you have to kill the creatures behind it. So it looks like they're keeping that um, going. So let's try bind. Let's go for a three point. Um, not like. Oh, fuck. That didn't work. Not really sure what alignment to cast. I assume we want to cast green because we want to take over a green creature. Uh, but maybe you need to cast red to take over a green creature? Not sure. I'm going to have to play with that and see what happens. Anger see, now that's on my side. So they're both on my side now? Maybe that's not strong enough to take over him. Okay, let's try let's try a max level version of it. So we're gonna run in circles. At least we're not running from fire. Doesn't have to worry about that anymore. Ah. Run 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 run. Generating power. How much do we have now? Pretty sure we're gonna have to have like loads of it, like max bar. That's if we can. I guess we could. If this doesn't work, we could always try a medium strength power. Almost there. Come on. Get that ass moving, buddy. How about now? There we go. Right. Can we now use? Bind, cast, max level. We can. Now, is that going to work? I mean, maybe it works. I'm not sure. Not sure. Let's try doing that again, but with a red power. Although, I don't think that's going to work. I can't think of any other doors that we haven't been through in this area. Ah. Need to generate power faster, faster, faster. How are we doing? That might actually almost be enough. We're actually out of time, but I just want to get this one spell off and see if it'll work. Round and round and round and round we go. They must think he's a feckin' loony bin. 
Right, now let's try. Are we at max power yet? We are. Max power! Spell list. Oh, bind. Max level. Red. Come on, you. Yeah, okay. So you have to cast the opposite of what they are. Fight my beauties, fight! Fight for my amusement! Who's gonna win though? That's what I want. Ah, hello, their spells are down. That's okay. You served your purpose admirably, sir. And we're gonna fill the other one with lead. Die, you sack of shit. Oh yeah, we can't use that, can we? Right, let's do a bit of axe murdering. Whoops, that's not the axe. That's not the axe at all. Ah, oh, they're both dead. Okay, so... Ah, block of explosives. Probably left over from the war. Yeah, probably. Plastic explosives. Good old composition for... Yeah, we know, we know. So now can I mix that with that? Aha! Michael has assembled a C4 bomb. Right, let's mix everything up. God damn it. Equip. Mix. You know, one thing that we haven't done is we haven't uh, used our grenade launcher yet. Might have to do that, actually. Let's reload our... G17 mix uh. this inventory system annoys me it's not too bad but there are little things about it there we go right okay guys I'm gonna save it there um, and when we come back I guess we've got a bridge to blow right so I hope you've enjoyed this video guys I know I have thanks for watching and until next time